so we're off on another adventure our trees need trimming um <laughs> Those trees have grown a lot. Um, little background. I love camping in Cades Cove. I love riding our bikes in Cades Cove. We have our bikes, you can see. Um, and we have... I did. They are in the, in the box. We have the two nights reserved in the second best spot in Cades Cove. The problem is we are not crazy about the thought of riding out severe thunderstorms with tornadoes, embedded tornadoes, in a teardrop again, because we've done that once and it, we, we're not fans. Any of the kids that were with us in Missouri know what I'm talking about. Um, so we had decided not to even go. Now, you know, but, you know, this is our mental health days because we are educators. Uh, educators tend to take mental health days in that. <coughs> yes, yes, we. I will put the picture in here. Um, I sent someone took a picture of me yesterday, and I looked at it and thought, Do I look that rough? And then I looked and realized. That they took four pictures of me and that was the best one and so anyway I went back and found a picture from September and I sent them side by side to Shannon to which her reply was what the crap yeah. are you sure you're not sick are you sure you're not sick yes I have aged about 12 years in a year um, it's been a rough year so I was really looking forward to this time in Cades Cove with no cell phones, no technology other than cameras, and just relaxing. And I've been telling my kids all week long, <coughs> excuse me, well for about two weeks now, good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Well apparently the good Lord wasn't willing because the creeks are going to rise, but we're not going to, we're just not going to go in the... Uh, we're just not going to go in the teardrop. We're going to go up and get a hotel room. And we'll ride out the severe weather in a hotel room. So, feeling confident about this? Yes. Extremely pretty. This makes me. In a quarter of a I can just sit here right and on White just sit here for a while. This is so pretty. It is. It is very pretty. I love the trees. Yes. I'm just trying to figure out where we're gonna come out. Um, because this has got us seriously. This has got us crossing a road, and then we're on Taster Lane, which is where our hotel is. Okay. I mean, we're not. Ah! That just startled me. Whoa. Um, we There was a major crash on the interstate, so our ways out directed us around, and we don't know where we are. This looks like where we came out from the apple barn. Oh, my gosh. 
a little bit of flooding there. In 3.2 miles, turn left on Henderson Road. Let's go up and look at it anyway. I mean, why not? Turn around. Don't drown. Oh, well, I didn't say we was going to drive through it. Uh, I think that's what was. Shit. Shit, booger bar. Dang it. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of water. <laughs> Is closed. I would say it is closed. Oh, I mean, geez, I'm facing a drop off here, so don't let uh, it freak you out. Look. Uh, I don't, oh my gosh. Wow. This thing is probably not getting this. Wow. Should have brought our kayaks instead of our bikes. I'm not sure I'd want to kayak that. Oh, I got a free on Yukon expedition now. Pigeon Forge. It's a Tuesday night, May 4th, and there's nobody here. Like, we're at the old mill. We didn't even have to wait. Oh, yeah, there's the waterfall. Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't drop that phone. Look. Look. There's nobody here. It's almost kind of scary. Hey, babe. Hey. Guess what? There's nobody here. This is... There's some people here, but... Nobody. Yeah. This is this is nice. We're gonna to have to remember this. We may have to do this every May. On oh. our mental health days. On our mental health days. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, we're just walking down the strip and we're walking off our corn chowder and roast. Yes. From the old mill. Yes. There's a, what is that? I don't know. Oh, it's made out of flower pots. Oh. Flower pot guy. Okay, so it's a flower pot guy. I wonder how it's survived here and not gotten broken. Look at that. Just, just look at that. Is. The hair is the pink. Oh my gosh. Oh no. You know what he's there for? No. To have your picture made with him. Well, I'm not going to, but... So he's got the camera. And he's smiling. Crooked. I don't know if you can see. The, see the purple light way down there? Our room is right up. 
Yeah, that's the Ferris wheel at the island. And our room is right whoop, up on the hill whoop, from that. Maybe I can show you that in a little while. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. She hates this. She hates videos, pictures, anything with her in it, even though she's beautiful. Oh. Anyway, um, we're on our way. We're leaving Pigeon Forge. Um, just left the, the hotel, which was very nice. And I actually got a good night's sleep last night, which never happens in a hotel on the first night, ever. I'm gonna hang a left right here, I think, because, oh, this is our road, Ware Valley Road. This is the, ro this is the road we have, anyway. Um, but we're on our way. We were supposed to camp last night in the campground, and I've already paid for the spot. Booked it and paid for the spot, so that's where we're going to park. Got a bear. 
You won't be able to see it on this, but we've all successfully ridden past him. He's right over here. Maybe I can zoom it in. in the rain we're just riding in the rain <laughs> we kind of look like grounded rats because it is raining all the way back around through there fun. it was fun I'm not complaining uh, when we come back and ride in you know July or whenever we'll be. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it in July. We'll be begging for that rain. Oh yeah, you are. Well, we've made it to the visitor center, and it's called the cable mill. Cable mill. Um, the mill is right through the woods right there behind us. You can see the run. Uh, we're down behind an old barn, and we're sitting here on the creek that is just gorgeous. And what are we doing, babe? We're having a picnic. We're having a picnic. We got crustables. We got chips. We got goldfish. We got... We got it made. That's what we got.
almost there. We're almost there. Well, now that we've got a little snacky snacky in our belly belly. Still sleepy sleepy. Sleepy sleepy. We're, we're pretty tired. Both of us. Slept good last night. Very. Slept great last night. Um, true at Pigeon Forge. It's, it's a nice, nice place to stay. Them hills around Kate's Cove, you, you don't pay much attention to them in a truck, do you? He was just a, just a 
be bopping right on down through there. He, the speed limit is 20. He probably wasn't going much over the speed limit if he was, but coming down that hill when there's bikes and everything, and when he come around the curve and saw us, he slammed on his brakes and it was just like he hit ice. He just started sliding. So the people that were closest to Shannon just, they just dumped their, you know, they were standing beside their bikes. They just dumped their bikes and take off, just getting out of there. Shannon was still standing a straddle of her bike and she couldn't, when she went to move, she stepped off the side of the pavement and fell. Of course, that didn't make me happy that that dude had come flying down through there. And, you know, I didn't say anything though, did I? You just looked at me like, are you okay? Yeah, I did ask if Shannon was okay. I was, I was, I think everybody. Well, walking pretty forcefully toward I th me. I think everybody there knew I was a little upset. I didn't say anything, but I did leave my bike and go back to check on Shannon. And and she had landed on the other people's bikes, you know. And she she didn't know. She was afraid she had knocked them over. But they literally were like. All I could do was keep my eyes on that truck. Yeah. And I thought that I had knocked the elder gentleman over. No, he, he, they had left their bikes and was running. Like, they were getting out of there. But you couldn't because you I were still on yours. I couldn't get out of the way. No. 